Mm, you got it pretty, pretty in the center. <laughs> That's always a plus. It really is. Wow. It really, really is. Wow. That's a pretty good fit, really. Even though it's, I don't know, 20, 30,000 is too big. <laughs> well, maybe <clears throat> maybe it's the uh, the tolerances on the plastic that are well, yeah. <laughs> making the difference. <laughs> <clears throat> Pinch off the bolt right here. You can chop the head off too, right? Yep. Well, oh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Dremel with a cutoff wheel? I do. Yeah, so it's starting to get easier now. So I can put it in the truck. Uh. So that should be that ends good. I'll polish it up a little bit. I think that would probably suffice. So you need to make, make a relief cut or anything on that? Or? I don't think so. Okay. I could just make, I'll just cut it so that there's probably Cause I was thinking quarter maybe, inch maybe. I was thinking maybe if you did a relief cut, you could butt this right up against there. Oh. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, well, that's what, you, what the washer, I was going to do with the washer. Oh, okay, I see. So it'll bump okay. right up on there? Yep. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay. perfect. Yep. I can always take more off. Mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe... Maybe 150 or something. Maybe less. For? For cutting this off. Oh, I see. Okay. And okay. then drilling the hole down the middle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the uh, yep. quarter 20 thread. Mm -hmm. Just basically making an adapter, right? Yeah. It's going to be hard to hold it, though, yeah. with the thread. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tap it and drill it so it's really not mm -hmm. really doing much to it, so maybe straighten it out. Yeah. <laughs>
Do you have any machinists uh, at where you used to work named Chuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you go get Chuck's Chuck? For yeah. <laughs> play I call it like whiskey drinking music oh, okay kind of bluesy <laughs> yeah kind of sit up they're all sit down okay play their not dancing style yeah yep. huh? so you just hand tap that yeah yeah wouldn't mind. well <laughs> yeah <laughs> just don't want to take chances right because yeah. you hit the bottom and it that these just snap <laughs> that would not be fun <laughs> that's slipping I've seen videos on YouTube where guys remove broken taps, and I go, oh, I kind of marveled at how they did that. You can. It's not my favorite thing. Have you ever had to do oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, they usually just, if it's a carbide one, they usually just break into mm. little pieces. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think the guy just, yeah. Shocked it and, Here, that's and it. broke the pieces. Out yeah, of it. you hit it with a like a rivet gun or something. I'll take them out of there. I think we're there. Yay! Do you want to die to chase that thread? I could probably do that. I got one out in the truck. I can feel it's kind of rough. Oh, just got to chase them off, chase the burrs off. Yeah. Now, is this going to tighten on your, do I need to put little flats on there to put a wrench on there maybe? Um, you know, that might be a good idea. So we can do that. Unless, let's see, he's going to be spinning this way most of the time? Yeah. Oh, then you're tightening, so it's good. Okay. okay. They, won't, they won't come off. You can put a little glue on them or a mm -hmm. TV or something. All right, so now what do I say? Like three quarter inch? 0.686 something. Or so if I do six. Six, oh, there we go. Six. Good guess. Six, eight, six. <laughs> so that's all the way down. So I'll just chop it off right yep. there. Yep. See how round it is. Not too bad. <laughs> I'm surprised. <laughs> It'll work. So let's see here. It's about right here. Let's use the hacksaw again. Yeah, 
And so we got a bolt you can use. Sized. Not too much. Not all right. That's all right. Yeah, I'm a little short in there too. Well, <laughs> it's got enough purchase to be fine. So. Oh, yeah. Cool. Done. All right. Yeah. Let's put it on the sun machine and take a look. Which one's going to come off? All right. And now it's got to be captured right here. Oh. I'm going to put a little grease on it. Let's stick it on there. Oh, it's got a little. Oh, yeah, it turned. Oops, it was on. Oh, it was? Little, little, little out of wobble. A uh, little out of round. But that. It's probably because of that washer. I'm thinking that's probably it. The washer Hold on. is not in the center. Yeah, let's pull that washer and see. Let's take it off. Yeah. Use the washer. See if it does it better without it. I'm thinking it probably will. But this is pretty straight. This is usually they're usually off. Yeah, that's fine for what I use it for. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
It was better before. No. Switch it down a little. Hmm. Okay, now tighten it here. Did I? Oh, you know what? I didn't flatten that. The the face. Oh, on on that the the quarter. I don't know if I did. <clears throat> or I can make a washer. You know this guy. Oh, this face. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. Should be able to grab it with a vice grips and it's amazing what little things will burr or something will chip or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, after I got after I got this one, I found another one in oh, my toolbox. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, that quarter inch is not very big. That's pretty good. I have to have another chuck that fits inside a chuck. Oh yeah. Chuck in a chuck. Oh yeah, it fits in here. This one's the. It's a. It, you use it. It's it. Uh, it's oh, for for sticking the rod in, instead of you know if you if you have a bit or if you got a rod that butt that's bigger than mm -hmm. than a half inch. Uh, I haven't I haven't punched it yet for larger larger butts. I punch it for larger butts. Yeah, so kind of off color, but oh, I see. You can, uh, you can make it like up to like oh, whatever size you want. Oops, mm, wrong way here. <laughs> smaller or bigger? Smaller. Oh. It's a little bitty. Oh, one. I see. Uh, the farther out you get, the more wobbly it's going to get. It so. probably will. <laughs> there. Let's see how. Uh, that's not oh, too that's bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. It's not too bad. So what does this do? It's 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 just a rod butt chuck. You punch a hole in here. Yeah. The size of whatever butt you want to use it for. I got an extra, extra one mm -hmm. insert for. It's just. Is this a, to wrap the? Yeah, yeah. It's just so a to little piece wrap of. Wrap the eyelets on the rod. Wrap the line on the eyelets. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you should. You should go to JT Outdoors. You ever heard of them? Mm hmm I know that the, his dad. He used to work with his dad. Really? And they've got a shop down here on Pilot Knob. Mm. You can go in and make your own rods. Oh, really? I was yep. wondering if there were... threads, all that stuff. I was there wondering if there were guys... I, I've heard the name, but I, I didn't know exactly where they were. I've got, a, I've got like three of his rods. Oh, man. He gave me one for my retirement. It's got my name on it. I should be able to see that. Kind of. Well, that works pretty good. All right. Do you have doors? Is that going to work? Yeah, I just got it. When it locks, it locks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect tool. Good to go. Yeah, if you need to make that bigger, ever. Yeah. I mean, we can make that a little bigger. We make that by 16ths if we need to. Mm -hmm. Just have to drill it out. Because mm -hmm. if this bends or something, if it's too soft, that metal. Yeah. 
I mean, I would probably, if I was going to do this, I would make this, the little piece and the big piece, be stuck on the, mm. you know yeah. what I mean? Get permanently so the only thing it. you're loosening is the big one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. Hmm. Pretty funny. But so man. how did this work? Good. Pretty well. Oh, you didn't get to see it, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, no, okay. So now you can sew? <laughs> Dan's sewing shop? <laughs> I can make fishing rods on it. You should check out, that's what they do down there. You make them right there on the bench. Yeah. All the threads, the eyelets, colors, everything you need. Burger Brothers, I think, was it Burger Brothers or Thorn Brothers used to have a shop up yeah. in Bloomington? So... Oh no, this decides to work. <laughs> How about that? I but, touched it. Yeah, they. There you go. And then uh, I got a special check to, for larger diameter rods. So he's going to put a rod in there and, and put you, the eyes on it. What? What? You, you put, know the threads that hold eyes? You put the end of the rod, the, the, the end of the rod, into here, and then you have the rod supported on a, a stand. A, a stand and then when you put the when you wind the wind thread on the on guides it? that's that's what that's you do what you hold you, you take the thread, the thread. to hold these eyelets on it <laughs> so okay, Don's going to give you to... crap about sewing are you going to go sew are you sewing oh I'm making fish your hands <laughs> so I want to see a video oh I will I intend How to do that that I, I got people asking for it, you know, and so I said, I'll do it as soon as I get the chuck, chuck on and show how it's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So you now you need to make something the, the right height to hold the other end of the rod, right? I, I have uh, one I built out of Legos, and it works really well. Of Lego? Is yeah. that Lego? Lego Technics, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So. That's cool. I built that actually when we lived here in... Uh, Kids got mad at me for Using stealing well, stealing well, techniques well. pieces, but the they they had just a huge box of just you know when they get done with make building whatever they just throw the all pieces in a box you know yeah. and just had a big you know, buckets full of Legos and go who's gonna You're miss not the only one. who's gonna miss it. <laughs>